Okay, so hello. Uh, we first said uh, this is a research work, an ongoing research work, uh, in collaboration with Alessia Milani, which, uh, which we share our PhD student, uh, Alexander uh, Rapetti. So in this presentation, uh, we're going to briefly uh, introduce what is auditability, why we were looking at this problem, and uh, how we are using Zeno you know, for uh, the evaluation. So, um, first of all, why we are looking uh, to that? Because uh, essentially we are in a world in which, in which as everyone knows, uh, there is a massive development of distributed strategies. Why we want that? Because uh, a user has not to care about uh, the physical uh, infrastructure and because you can assess your data wherever you are. But uh, this means that uh, we have sensitive data processing and uh, we need to trust the infrastructure. And uh, essentially when we talk about uh, distributed uh, strategies, what we want is uh, data availability, uh, data integrity and data privacy. And uh, we are looking at uh, the, the, the last one. And as we know, uh, usually to, I mean, data privacy is a, is a we are not addressing the data privacy because we can enforce it with uh, cryptographic methods and with uh, as a control access list, for instance. But uh, what we are working on is what if uh, this does not work and so someone can assess uh, our data. In that case, what we want to do is to do audit, audit on, the, uh, on that access. So auditability means that uh, we may know, we, no, we know uh, if someone gets access to, to the data and we can prove that. And uh, uh, so this is what, uh, what we want to do. And before um, everything, I, I want to just give an intuition about what is the difficulty of bringing auditability in that context. Indeed, the, when we have uh, data across uh, distributed data, so across different uh, replicas, what we what we have is that some replica is corrupted, and uh, so um, this means that we need to take care about that. We need to cope with that, and so. Um, Essentially, uh, since the data is cross is uh, scattered around different replicas, uh, all the operations that we want to implement, so read, write, and audit, in that case, they need to be column based in the sense that we want to query all the replicas and wait for an answer for a, um, a quorum of them. And then, moreover, here it comes the difficulty because uh, for adaptability purposes, since uh, we have that the data is scattered around. We don't want that someone is able to read without that we are able to detect it. So we need to make to make the, the read operation a little bit more complicated, such that uh, a reader uh, leaves sufficiently many traces that we can reconstruct uh, the operation. And since uh, we want to take into account that uh, replicas can be corrupted, we don't want a single replica to access the, the data. And for um, that reason we use information dispersal technique essentially. And so just to um, give an, an idea about how does it work, um, uh, we have a writer that when he wants to write, he, he sends different blocks of the value that we want to write uh, in uh, each replica. And so then when a reader wants to read, it has to uh, access sufficiently many uh, blocks of the value that uh, uh, we are storing. And uh, what does it mean that? That when we want to do the audit to understand if someone access the data, uh, we still need to contact a quorum of our replicas. But since to read, the reader had to contact sufficiently uh, replicas, then we can uh, uh, we can know, we know uh, that uh, our reader access the data. And uh, as I said, this is an ongoing work. We submitted a paper. We are waiting for the response tomorrow. So finger crossed. And uh, so for now, we did all the theoretical uh, work. But now is the time to assess what is the cost of adding 
the ability uh, to distribute uh, the uh, to distribute the storage and so this is the reason why we uh, we are looking at uh, and zero and uh, the idea is that uh, we uh, enriched uh, Zeno with uh, the disability feature and to do that uh, we build the very first uh, prototype for the moment uh, very easily uh, which is the nice point using the Python API and in particular to do that we use the Quarable and the Query operation provided uh, by Zeno and so this, those are just a uh, few snapshots uh, to show how easy it has been to, to put in place uh, the operation. Then, of course, uh, I'm not going into the details of the uh, of the algorithm that is a little bit more complex uh, than how it may look, but uh, just to say it was uh, uh, easy to do. And uh, so the next step is to uh, go ahead with the, the evaluation of our uh, of our solution. So first of all, we want to evaluate um, what is the cost of, of adding the auditability, so uh, doing the comparison between a distributed storage with Zeno and without, with and without auditability. And then we want to also uh, fully exploit the fact that uh, with Zeno we have eventual consistency and so uh, define uh, the notion of eventual auditability to, to better match the, the, the Zeno uh, the general solution. Then uh, we aim um, at evaluating all the all the results. Thank you.